Hey everyone, so this is Unit 5, Module 1, Session 5, Homework. Um, and this year's, you guys are um, actually doing it in class. So we didn't play this first game, they're talking about this Target 1 Fractions. Um, you're supposed to choose three of the numbers, there's five of them to choose from. Um, and you have to multiply a fraction times a whole number, so like there's a fraction times a whole number, and you have to get closest to 1. So, um, the difference between those numbers and one would be your score. You're trying to get the lowest score. So, let's just use these first three numbers, one, two, and three. So, I could go like one half of three equals three halves, which equals one and one half. Well, my score of one, well, my one and one half is a half away from one, so my score would be one half. So, I want to look at these numbers and see if there's... Three I can use that um, when multiplied, I'd get one. So I think I see one right here. Um, let's go uh, two, two, two six times three. Okay, two six. Oh, I should probably go two, six, and three. So 2, 6, and 3, um, 2, 6 times 3, um, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times, well, there's nothing to multiply 6 by, right? So 1. So my answer is 1. So when I do that, 6 over 6 equals 1. My answer is 1. 2, two 6 times 3 equals 1. Um, the, the score for Erica would be zero because the difference between her score of one and one is zero. All right, this game we've played a little bit more. Beat the calculator. So we're just going to try and help them find a way to solve these fraction problems. So let's just change. Let's go straight, straight to here. Let's change this one and one fifth to one and two tenths. What do you think? And take away three tenths. So I know one whole is ten tenths. Oops, that was weird. So, um, if I try and take three tenths away from two tenths, I have to actually go take one from the whole. So, I think that's nine tenths. That's my first answer. One third plus one fourth plus one half. So, I want to figure out where thirds and fourths and halves meet. I think they meet at twelve. So, I'm going to, and I, ah, I didn't ever tell you, remind you that you need to um, pause this, right? If you get it. So, if you feel like you get it, you pause it, do a few. Then check your answers with me. So I'm going to change them to 12. So one third is, uh, there's, if I divide it in a third, it's four. So f one third is four twelfths. One fourth is three twelfths. And then one half, I got that one, six twelfths. So my answer is going to be over 12. Then three plus four is seven plus six is 13, also known as one and one twelfth. Okay. All right, let's look at C. I really like this C. Look at that. That's just 1 minus 1, um, which is 0, right? So now I just have 7 eighths. Instead of 1 fourth, I'm going to put 2 eighths. So 7 eighths minus 2 eighths, I got 5 eighths. All right, last one. Uh, so I could try and make these all match the same um, denominator, make it bigger. But check out this. This is a half. This is a half. And this is a half. I think the answer is one and one half. What do you think? All right, let's keep going. Billy made 60 cards to give away on Valentine's Day. Help Billy figure out how many cards he'll give to his family, his teachers, and his friends. So if Billy gives one, one third of his cards to his family... So that's just one third times uh, 60. And so that becomes 60 thirds and 60 divided by three is 20, yeah? 20 of those things, 20 cards. All right, let's do the next one, one fourth. So I'm gonna take my 60 and I'm gonna divide it up in half. Oops, the whole thing is 60. Uh, that's 30, but one fourth, I want half of that. So I'm gonna draw my fourths. So half of 30 is 15. So it's 15 cards to his teacher. That's nice. If Billy gives 5 twelfths of his cards to his friends, 
How many Billy, how many cards does Billy give his friends? So five twelfths of sixty. Okay, so I could go five times sixty. Ooh, or I could do this. Remember what we could do? I could change the sixty over twelve times five. Well, this one right here, twelve goes into sixty. I recognized it is five. Five times five is twenty-five cards. All right, let's keep going. Uh, true or false? Three times four fifths equals four times three fifths. Well, look at this. That's a twelve, right? Well, so is this twelve. There's a five underneath it, so true. Three times four fifths and five times three fourths. Well, let's just do this math real quick. Three times four is twelve fifths, and then five times three is fifteen fifths. Those do not equal, do they? All right, three. I think this one looks good. Three times four is twelve fifths. Four times three is twelve fifths. They are the same, right? All right, Madison and Noah are reading books from the library. Noah um, has read three-eighths of his book, which is 72 pages. Madison has read three-fifths of her book, which is 55 pages. So we could do some multiplication. I'm going to break my 72 into eighths. Well, first I'm going to break it in half. Okay, so 72, the whole thing is 72. Half of that is 36. I'm going to write right here. And then I can break that in half, right? Half of 36 is 18. And then I could break that in half again. And half of 18 is 9. 9, 9. And they said we're looking for um, 3 eighths. Oh, so we just take 3 of them. So Noah has read 3 eighths. That's 27 out of 72 pages. That's Noah. 27 pages. Okay, and uh, then we have uh, Madison. Three fifths of Madison book, Madison's book. So let's let's just look at this. The whole thing is fifty five. Fifty five, and then I'll go. So they're all supposed to be evenly spaced. So fifty five divided by five is eleven, right? Eleven, and they had three fifths, so that would be thirty three. These three. 33, um, 55th. All right. So who read more? Well, I think um, Ma Madison read more. And Madison read six more pages. Madison read more. Six pages more. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Okay, the challenge. A rectangular solid that is six centimeters by six centimeters by six centimeters is painted on all six faces. Then the solid is cut into cubes that measure two centimeters on each side. How many cubes have only one face painted? Wow. This could be interesting, right? Six by six by six centimeter. Um... Six, six by six by six. So these cubes are in a two centimeter cube. So I can fit two here. So there's three then two here. That's nine. Um, how many of those have one face painted? Well, let's look at this picture right here. Okay. So like this one has more than one. It actually has three. So those are all eliminated. So that one's eliminated. Um, this one's eliminated. Uh, this eliminated. This eliminated. In fact, all edges are eliminated because look at that edge right there. You can see two of them. So all edges. So look what's left. Okay. I just have this one right there. Put a little star in there. So there's six sides to a cube. So I think there's six of those cubes that only have one side painted. All right, guys. Um, I hope that you stopped it a few times. And please make sure you bring any questions for me. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks, guys.